It was October 30th, and Halloween was the next day, which meant that tomorrow night will be Halloween. Dashpar was in his living room with his older sister Violet and his baby brother Jack-Jack. They all had a map laid out on the coffee table. Dash and Jack-Jack were going to go trick-or-treating, and Violet was looking at the map with them. Dash was excited to be getting a lot of candy tomorrow night. Jack-Jack was just as, as excited as Dash was. Violet had plans to go hang out with Tony on Halloween as well, so she and Tony were also going to dress up. Just as they were looking at the map, Helen Parr, also known as Elastigirl, came downstairs to see her kids at the coffee table. They were looking at the map, assuming that it's their trick or treat route or something. What are you kids doing? Helen asked. We're looking at some trick or treat routes, just figuring out what houses to visit tonight when dad takes me and my brother out. Dash replied with Jack-Jack laughing. Tony and I will be celebrating Halloween here in our costumes since we're both too old for trick-or-treating, Violet added. That's what I wanted to tell you, Dash and Vi. I hate to say this, but you understand that what I'm about to say, Helen said, sighing before she spoke again. Your dad is sick with the flu and can't take Dash or Jack-Jack trick-or-treating this year. Plus, he'll risk passing it to the other kids. Since he can't have candy while he's sick, I'm going to have to hand out the candy. Why not just me and Tony stay here and hand out the candy and you take my brothers? Violet suggested. I would say yes to that, but I have a lot of work online I have to do before Halloween. Plus, I'm expecting a phone call this evening from my boss about hero stuff. Helen explained. So you and Tony will have to take your brothers trick-or-treating this year. What? Why can't me and Jack-Jack go alone? Dash whined. Because... You and Jack-Jack aren't old enough, and since Violet and Tony are the older ones, they'll have to take you, Helen replied. And so do they have to, Dash whined again, but Helen was having none of it. Dash, you know the rules. Violet and Tony take you out, or and Jack-Jack, or no trick-or-treating. Plus, you're not old enough to be on your own yet, Dash, and Jack-Jack is still young, Helen explained, heading over to the kitchen counter to start carving a pumpkin. Have you carved yours yet, Violet? Yes, I did, Mom. The face is pretty scary, Violet replied, showing her mom the jack-o'-lantern. Whoa, that face is twisted and scary, Helen said, only pretending to be scared. Jack-Jack can come in here and carve his pumpkin. And since your father did his and Dash has done his already, I gotta do my pumpkin and help with Jack-Jack's. While Helen was in getting the things ready in the kitchen, for her to carve out the pumpkin that for Jack-Jack to paint his as well. Violet headed back to the coffee table to meet with Dash and Jack-Jack. Can we go to the Barney Bunch Drew Pickles house? Dash asked. Oh no we're not. We are not trick-or-treating there. Because a couple of years ago, Dad said the magic word and well, you know the rest. Violet replied, dreading the time that Mr. Incredible one time took his kids trick-or-treating at the Barney Bunch mansion. What is the magic word? Is it sick? Just before Dash could say the F word, Violet covered his mouth to hush him. Don't say it, Violet exclaimed. You don't want Drew Pickles to hear it, because if you said it, you would know what he'll do next. Remember what he did to Dad? Yes, I do. And what do you mean he'll hear it? He's not in the house, Dash replied, questioning Violet. He'll pop out of nowhere and hear it. I think he has super hearing or something. Violet guessed. But just don't say it, Dash. Otherwise, Jack-Jack will pick up on it. If we trick-or-treat at the Barney Bunch Mansion, their candy will pretty much be disgusting food that we can't eat. That's true, but can we go to the Pube Muppet Swamp? Dash asked. No, because not only his food will be disgusting, but this will also mean he'll want his satisfaction, to which we can't give it to him. Violet answered. And don't ask me about Fatty Bear's place to trick-or-treat, because he would do anything and try and stop us. Okay, I guess we can give the Barney Bunch universe a skip to trick-or-treating there, Dash replied. Then he had an idea. Can we go trick-or-treating at Space Voyager's spaceship at the Linus Bunch universe? Of course we can, Dash. We'll be going to the Linus Bunch universe to trick-or-treat. In all those places, there we will trick-or-treat. First, let's find myself a costume to wear, and the same goes for Tony, Jack-Jack, and you, Violet said, pulling out a costume wardrobe. There's gotta be something to wear. 
Dash said. Then Violet pulled out a bunny costume. Aw, here's Jack-Jack's bunny costume from when he was just a baby on his first Halloween. Violet smiled in awe. Then she pulled out a Spyro the Dragon costume. Hey, Dash, I found something that Mom bought for Halloween this year. It's Spyro the Dragon. Want to wear it? Sure, it fits me very well, Dash said, grabbing the Spyro the Dragon costume. Let's see if I can find a costume, Violet said, going through the wardrobe of costumes. Here's one I had as a little kid, the cowgirl costume, Violet smiled, remembering one Halloween when she was a cowgirl. It's too small for me now. Let's see if we have more. Violet went through the costume box, then she found something. Hey, I think I found a costume set. It's Kanga and Rue from um, Winnie the Pooh. Kanga can be me, and Rue can be the little kid. And I know just which one, Violet said, looking at her Kanga and Rue costume, then looked at Jack-Jack and had an idea. Hey, Jack-Jack, I found a costume that has Rue. Jack-Jack looked at the costume Violet was holding. He really liked the costume and loved the idea of him going out as Rue. While Violet was dressed up as Kanga, when Helen picked up Jack-Jack to paint his pumpkin, she looked at the Violet holding the Kanga and Rue costume. That was going to be for me, but it didn't fit me well because of my big butt. But it will fit you better, Helen said to Violet. Well, this costume I find cute. It does come with the costume of Rue. Did Jack-Jack fit into it fine? Violet asked. Yes, it did. And for Kanga, here is a little pouch for Jack-Jack to be in. It's what makes you in the costume. Want to try it on with Jack-Jack and see how it looks? Dash could try on his Spyro the Dragon costume. I want to see how they fit you kids, Helen replied, as Violet took Jack-Jack with her costume while she fetched for Dash in his costume. As they headed for their bedrooms to change in their Halloween costumes, it didn't take long for Dash to get inside his costume, since he was very fast. He came out of his room wearing his Spyro the Dragon costume. Not long after that, Violet came out with Jack-Jack in her Kanga and Rue costume. Helen looked at their children with their costumes, and they looked amazing in them. You guys look cool. You're a cool dragon, Dash. A lot of people are going to be jealous with that costume you're wearing, Helen said, admiring his costume. Then turned to see Jack-Jack in his Rue costume. And when she saw Violet's Kanga costume, she admired her daughter's costume. You look so cute as Kanga, Vi. And Jack-Jack is such a cutie as Rue. Helen hugged Jack-Jack in his Rue costume. There's a small pouch in my Kanga costume. I could use it for candy if it didn't have any holes at the bottom of my pouch. Violet asked, noticing the holes at the pouch where the small legs of a baby would be. That pouch on Kanga costume is so since Jack-Jack is Rue, he could sit on your pouch, Helen replied, placing Jack-Jack inside the pouch of Kanga costume. This is really cute. Jack-Jack can be ride in the pouch like a little Joey does, Violet said, admiring herself and Jack-Jack in their costumes. Tony will think this is so cute, Violet said. She smiled at Jack-Jack who giggled. The next day was Halloween and it was around 4.30 p.m. at the Incredibles house. Dash was in his costume and had his head pillowcase ready. Jack-Jack along with Violet were also finishing up putting the family's pumpkins outside. They were all jack-o'-lanterns and were all ready for the candle. With Jack-Jack being painted on, he was too young to do carving still. Once the pumpkins were outside, the two headed back inside the house to the kitchen. Once Violet and Jack-Jack walked back inside the house, Helen Park came downstairs dressed as a kitty cat. She also had cat ears and whiskers painted with a face paint. And soon, Jack-Jack and Violet will need their costumes on. So Violet loved her costume along with Jack-Jack so much that Jack-Jack smiled and laughed. Your costume is cute, Mom. The kitty cat you are, Violet said. Yeah, since Bob will be downstairs watching TV, I can't have him get too close to the kids with the flu. He is dressed up as Patrick Starr from Spongebob. He's going to watch TV down here and show off his costumes to the trick-or-treaters, Helen said. Mom, can we go trick-or-treating now? Dash asked. Dash, it is a bit early to head out. Plus, I ordered food to be here, so after dinner, you guys can all head out, Helen said, seeing that the car pulled up in the driveway, indicating that it was the pizza delivery person. As the 
person who walked out of the car delivered a pizza with wings and drinks for the pars. Helen paid for the food and Violet brought it inside the house. Once inside, Jack-Jack needed a diaper change, so Violet headed upstairs to change his diaper. After Jack-Jack's diaper was changed, the kids, including Bob, were all at the dinner table eating dinner. There was a knock at the door, so Bob headed for the front door to answer. Violet had put on her Kanga costume, while Helen got Jack-Jack in his Rue costume. Dash ate the pizza so fast that he inhaled it. I wonder who's at the door, Dash asked. I'm not sure. Tony said that he'll be here with his costume, Helen replied, answering Dash's question. I saw it today in my school, and I'm not saying what it is. It did scare me earlier today, though, Violet chuckled, till she turned to her left to see a ghost face appear beside her. Ah! Violet screamed playfully, knowing that it was only Tony behind the mask. Tony, you scared me, Violet chuckled again, seeing that Tony was only teasing her. How do you know that it's him? Helen asked playfully. Then Tony removed the ghost face mask. Because it's me. I'm going to be scaring a lot of people in this costume. It will be just as great as the time I went out as Michael Myers, Tony said. I love your costume, Tony, Bob said, while dressed up as Patrick Starr. I heard that Bob has the flu, Tony replied. I hope you guys don't catch what he has. As long as we wash our hands, it's fine. So that's why you, Violet, and are taking Dash and Jack-Jack this year, Helen said. You all can go to the Linus Bunch universe and other places at the house. You all know the rules, though. Only go to houses with lights on, don't wander off on your own, and don't trick-or-treat at the Barney Bunch universe. Yeah, we know what happened to Dad when he took us trick-or-treating there one year, Violet fin replied, finishing up her food as Tony did the same, since she he was offered some dinner. If Jack-Jack gets cranky while you're out, he's tired, text me, Vi, and you could bring him home, and you and Dash can continue as long as he's with you guys, Helen said as she took the empty dishes. I'm stuffed from the pizza and wings, Dash said. Me too, Violet added. Me free, Tony also added. Me and Bob four and five, Helen also said while laughing. Can we go trick or treat now? Dash asked, getting impatient as he looked outside the front window, seeing the younger kids going out trick or treating. Dash also can see some lights being on outside of their house as theirs were on as well. Violet grabbed her pillowcase for herself to share with Tony and Jack-Jack. It is almost five o'clock. I guess it wouldn't hurt to get a head start. I see some people dressing up as well as trick-or-treating, Violet replied. What the heck? Why not? Jack-Jack gets tired late at night. All right, Dash, here's your trick-or-treat pillowcase. Violet, do you and Tony have yours? Helen asked. I've got it right here, so me and Violet can share, Tony answered, kissing Violet's cheek. I'll have my own candy, but I gotta hide it from Dash, just so he doesn't eat it all. Last year on Halloween, he ate the whole pillowcase of candy. He was so sick the next day, he couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> Violet chuckled, making Dash frown a bit. Have everything, Vi? Bob asked while coughing a bit. Yep, and if there's problems, I'll let you or Mom know, Violet replied as Helen placed Jack-Jack in the pouch of, Kang, of the Kanga costume of Vi that Violet was wearing. Let me get a picture of you two. Dash and Tony could be in this one, Helen said, getting Tony and Dash to join beside Violet and Jack-Jack. As soon as they were all standing together, Helen got a few photos on her phone of her kids in the costumes. Got some nice ones. Hope you kids have fun trick-or-treating. Remember, kids, don't go to the Barney Bunch mansion for candy. Bob reminded the kids. Don't eat any candy until you all get home, Helen added as Violet, Jash, Jack-Jack, and Tony all had their pillowcases and headed off to do some trick-or-treating. The first house that Violet and Tony took Dash and Jack-Jack to was Space Voyager's house, or spaceship, so they knocked on his door. After waiting for quite a bit, Space Voyager opened the door to see Violet, Tony, Dash, and Jack-Jack in their costumes. Violet, along with Tony and with Dash, said, Trick or treat, while Jack Jack played babbly and baby talk. Those costumes are awesome, Violet. You are Kanga and Jack is Rue? Space asked. Yep, we're both Kanga and Rue, Violet answered. Dash is Spyro the Dragon, and my boyfriend Tony is the ghost face from Scream. I love your costumes, you guys. 
I have space themed chocolate bars, Space Voyager said, handing two chocolate bars space themed to Violet and her brother as well as Tony. Thanks, Space. Happy Halloween, Dash said, smiling at him. Can I have some chocolate? Can I have some chocolate bars too, Space? A voice said from behind him. It was Patrick Starr that had asked a question to Space Voyager. No way, Patrick. These are for the trick or treaters. Now go hang out with someone or something. Don't make me get Boris on your ass. Space warned Patrick. The starfish backed away while he was dressed up as a pirate and wanted to go trick or treat. But however, he had to wait until it was dark enough for his friends to take him out. Thanks, Space. Tony and Violet said, while wishing them a happy Halloween. As they walked out in the front yard of Space's house, they headed towards the house of the Starry Bunch Drew Pickles. They had headed up the front door of Drew's house, seeing how it's decorated it was. Violet rang the doorbell and waited for a bit. Then Starry Bunch Drew Pickles opened the door, with his wife Charlotte and their daughter Angelica there. Trick or treat, they all said. Seeing Drew Pickles and Charlotte, all dressed up as Prince Eric and Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Made Angelica was also dressed up as a princess too. Who? And they saw that their friends had their costumes on. Wow, you all look very swell, Violet Parr. Would you along with Dash, Jack-Jack, and Tony want some of our swellest candy? Don't worry, this Drew Pickles is Starry Bunch. And our candy is gumdrops, Charlotte Pickles said. That sounds really swell. We would like some, please. Tony said, as Charlotte Pickles and Drew both gave gumdrop candies to the trick-or-treaters. Thank you, Starry Bunch Drew Pickles and Charlotte Pickles. Are you two going to take Angelica out? Violet asked. Well, my wife is. I will, will be hanging here until her grandfather comes to hand out candy. Drew answered. Then he wished the trick-or-treaters a happy Halloween. After hitting Starry Bunch Drew Pickles' house, Violet, along with Dash, Jack-Jack, and Tony Ryanger, headed for the Linus Bunch universe to hit some houses. First, they head to Titan's Tower, to which Robin, along with the rest of the Titans, gave some airheads for candy. The Titans were dressed up as a couple of characters from movies. Most were either Disney or horror movie characters. Robin was dressed up as Jafar. Raven was Maleficent. Starfire was dressed as a Princess Aurora. Cyborg and Beast Boy were dressed as the Terminator and Jason Voorhees, and Terra was also dressed up as Snow White. After the Titans Tower, they headed for the Animaniacs house, as they gave him some lollipops, which they made sure that hot sauce wasn't in them, knowing that Wacko loves hot sauce. He would put the hot sauce candy as well. Yakko, Wacko, and Dot were also dressed up as the free blind mice for Halloween, and Violet loved their costumes. When they hit the Mystery Inc. at their house, Scooby and the gang were all dressed up as a couple of common characters for Halloween. Fred was dressed up as a pirate, as Daphne was also dressed up as a pirate for Halloween. Velma was a zombie, while Scooby-Doo was a dragon for Halloween. The Hex Girls were also there as well. Three of them were dressed up as nurses, while Shaggy was a doctor. Mystery Inc. had handed out some fuzzy peach candies to them. As they left Mystery Inc.'s house, while along with Dash and Jack, Jack and Tony, headed for the next house. The next house they headed for was the Linus Bunch Mansion, where there were a few people in the yard, entertaining the kids. Fleagle and the Banana Splits were dressed up as the Kiss Band, while they were performing their songs, to which Violet thought it was interesting. Tigger was dressed up as a cowboy, while Rabbit was dressed up as a wizard. They saw their friends as they waved, as Violet and Tony, with their brothers, passed by the garden, before they turned to the gates in the mansion. While walking up there, they saw the Lion Queen, along with her boyfriend CJ, dressed up as Simba and Nala from The Lion King. Some of the other YouTubers in the Lioness Bunch were also dressed in all sorts of things for Halloween, to which Violet Tony thought it was neat. When they approached the house, they knocked on the door and waited for a moment. When the door opened, it was Lioness Bunch Drew Pickles, with his girlfriends Jenny, Lindsay, and Little Rock answered it. Drew Pickles was also dressed up as a surgeon gen doctor for Halloween, while Jenny, Little Rock, and Lindsay were the free witches from Hocus Pocus. Barney, on the other hand, was dressed up as Rex from Toy Story. Trick or treat! Violet, along with Tony and her brother Dash, exclaimed in excitement. Hello, Violet. Hi, Tony and Dash. 
Janney said. Hey, you guys. Love the costumes, Violet said. I'm Kanga, while my baby brother Jack-Jack is Rue. Aw, he's so adorable, Little Rock said. I'm Spiral the Dragon for Halloween, and Tony is the ghost face from Scream, Dash replied. I love the costumes. They're stupendous, Barney said. As Drew proceeded to get a bowl of candy to hand them out to Violet, Dash, and Tony. Hey, Drew, can I have some of this red-hot candy I found in the candy box? Barney asked Drew, seeing that the red-hot candy package he was holding. Barney, you know that eating those red-hot candies sets off your stomach pretty bad. I'd rather not say it, as you already know the answer, but last time you had those, you nearly burnt the whole bathroom. So no, I am not having you burn the bathroom like that again. Drew said, handing the candy to Violet as well as Tony and Dash. Thanks, Drew. Happy Halloween, Violet said. Happy Halloween, Violet, Dash, Jack-Jack, Parr. And happy Halloween to you too, Tony Ryanger, Viol- Violin, and everyone else, Barney said. After the Linus Punch Mansion, Violet along with Tony, Dash, and Jack-Jack passed by a house that had no lights on near the front door. It was none other than Jafar's pl- palace, and they chose not to go there, due to Jafar being into some really disturbing stuff. They walked down until they ran into some houses to trick-or-treat, to which they had got a lot of candy. They approached a house where it had lots of decorations and lights lit up everywhere. That was their next house. Violet along with Tony, along with Dash and Jack-Jack knock on the door. And that was when the door opened up. It was Bonnie that answered the door. Trick or treat, the Pars and Tony exclaimed, seeing that Bonnie and Luke were both dressed up as a mummy and a dead bride. Nice costumes you have. I think you in the Spyro the Dragon costume must be Dash Par, Bonnie said. Yep, me and my baby brother and older sister are known as the Incredibles, Dash answered. Hey, I know you guys. How's saving the world going? Luke asked. I'm doing... It's going great. I'm Kanga and my and baby Jack-Jack's Rue, Violet answered, as baby Jack-Jack stared at Bonnie and Luke with cute puppy eyes. And Tony, my boyfriend, is the ghost face from Scream. That ghost face scares the shit out of me. Bonnie and I are going to watch Scream 4. Luke replied. Thank you so much for the candy, Bonnie and Luke. Happy Halloween, you two, Violet said. They headed off after getting their candy. Their next stop was at Carlos and his daughter Sarah's house, to which he gave the Pars and Tony some Sour Patch Kids. When they knocked on the door, Carlos was dressed up as a ghost, while his daughter was dressed up as a unicorn, and they loved their costumes. When Violet and her brothers and Tony reached to a large house, or... A hideout. There was Kate and Javier Garcia by the front door of their house. They were dressed up as Shrek and Fiona from the Shrek movies. They noticed Dash along with Violet, Jack Jack, and Tony showing up at their front porch. Trick or treat, they all said at the same time, to which Javier Garcia and Kate both complimented on their costumes while handing out their candy. The candy they handed to them was some bubble gum and Smarties. They wished the trick or treaters a happy Halloween before they headed off to the next house. While walking down the road, Violet and Tony along with Dash and Jack-Jack met up with Louis, AJ, and Clementine. While they were trick-or-treating there as well, because they were bringing AJ with them. Violet, Dash, Tony, and Jack-Jack, how's Halloween? Louis called out. It's really good so far. We got a lot of candy, Violet replied. That's a lot in your bags are above halfway. <laughs> Clementine chuckled. I see Dash is Spyro the Dragon. Tony must be the ghost face from Scream. And you must be Kanga and Jack-Jack is Rue. Yep, that's right. Jack-Jack is loving this pouch he's in. Aren't ya? Violet replied, making Jack-Jack smile when Violet had her attention towards her littlest brother. What are you guys dressed up as this year? Tony asked. Louis and I are both dressed up as Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. Clementine answered. AJ's dressed up as Robin Hood. Our friends are taking Willie out as well, but they're going the other way. Lewis added, Love the costumes, you guys. How much candy do you have? Dash asked. AJ's pillowcase are, is half full already. We've got a lot of houses we have hit. Clementine answered, I bet you're going to get more candy, Tony said. You should head over to Captain Fevisar's haunted pirate ship. All three of us screamed and laughed. It's like a haunted house tunnel you go through. 
AJ loved it, although he did scream a bit. <laughs> Clementine stated with a laugh. We'll have to check that out. Hope you free have a happy Halloween, Violet said, as she, Tony, Jack-Jack, and Dash headed off for some more houses. As they walked down the path, Violet looked up to see the Wiggles house was lit up, meaning that there were a lot of candy. They headed off into the direction where all of them were in their costumes while handing out treats. Greg was dressed up as a mummy, Murray was dressed up as a Frankenstein, Anthony was a scarecrow, and Jeff was dressed as the Sandman. Trick or treat! Violet along with her brother and Tony exclaimed in excitement. Happy Halloween, Tony, Violet, Dash, and Jack-Jack. We all love your costumes. Hope you like our costumes, Jeff said. We do. They're awesome, you guys, Tony stated. Anthony, don't eat all the candy. Remember what we said before trick-or-treaters show up, Murray scolded, seeing Anthony trying to sneak some treats to eat for himself. What kind of treats do you have, Dash asked. We have candy apples this year with caramel for them, Greg answered handing free candy apples to Violet, Tony, and Dash. However, Jack-Jack couldn't have one yet, since he didn't really have that many teeth yet. But the Wiggles managed to give him a bag of chips for him to have. They look great, and are you sure they're not poisoned? Violet asked, unsure if, this can if the candy apples were poisoned or not. Oh no, they're not. We would never do that, Greg answered, reassuring her that the candy apples were not poisoned. Thanks, just want to make sure... Happy Halloween, Wiggles, Violet thanked, before she and Tony along with Jack-Jack and Dash headed off in towards the next house. They headed towards Dorothy the Dinosaur's Garden, where she was dressed up as Anna from Frozen. She handed out rose-flavored taffy candies for the trick-or-treaters. Violet, along with Dash, Jack-Jack, and Tony, thanked her before heading off to Henry the Octopus's house underwater. Henry had given Violet, Dash, and Tony some caramel candies, to which gave, he gave those to them. Since he had to swim down and up towards Henry's house, their costumes didn't get wet to their surprise. Henry was dressed up as a Loch Ness monster, to which they thought the costume was fitting for him. Better than being an underwater creature made sense. So as they walked down the street, they stopped to trick-or-treat at Wags the Dog's house. Wags and the Waggots had dressed up to be Goldilocks and the Free Bears, they loved their costumes as they liked theirs. Wags handed Violet, Tony, and Dash some fruit candies for treats. As they left Wags' house, it was around 8.30 p.m., or close to 9, and Jack-Jack started to get a bit sleepy. We're getting a lot of candy, right, Tony? Dash asked. I know, Dash. Our pillowcases are almost full from all the houses we've hit tonight, Tony replied. Even my arms are going to be sore tomorrow. At least these candies will last us for a couple of months, unless we eat them within a few days. <laughs> Violet chuckled with Tony as Jack-Jack started to get a bit fussy inside of the pouch of Violet's costume. Maybe we should hit just a few more houses. Jack-Jack's getting a bit tired. Okay, that works, Tony said, as Dash stopped near Captain Fevisort's pirate ship docks. Up ahead of them, they could see a small alcove that acted like a walkthrough for trick-or-treaters. See, what I see looks like a haunted house-like place, Dash stated. Can we go through there? Yeah, of course they, we can, Violet said. As they headed towards the entrance of the haunted house-like area, they, as they entered the place, there was a lot of fog on the ground, meaning that it was hard to see what was on the ground. Violet was, and with Jack-Jack was in the front, while Tony behind her and Dash was right behind them and they slowly began to walk through the haunted house. While they were walking in the haunted house, there were a lot of spooky decorations hung around the place, making it really spooky. Pirate Rudolph along with Pirate Sam were both dressed up as creepy clowns, giving Violet, Jack-Jack, and Tony and Dash a bit of a scare for fun. After they passed by the very scary clowns, they saw Pirate Charlie with a toy chainsaw, only dressed up as Leverface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, giving Violet and the others a bit of a scare. Tony, on the other hand, wasn't too scared of her at all. He laughed as he was having fun. They were getting close to the end of the haunted house as they could see a door opening up by followed by two figures walking out of it. 
Captain Feathersor was dressed up as a bat, and Lily was dressed up as a pi vampire. They both had really good costumes. Ahoy there, me hearties. Happy Halloween, Captain Feathersor said. Ahoy there, Captain. Love your costume, as we also like Lily's, Fowler replied. I'm glad you like our costumes. We decided to do this haunted walkway this year, Lily said. I love your costumes. Kanga and Rue, one with Violet and Jack-Jack, are so cute. Our mom thinks so, too. Jack-Jack is getting a bit fussy because it's getting really late. He's also getting tired, to which is understandable, Violet stated, as Lily and Captain Fevisor had handed some full-sized chocolate bars. Thank you so much, you two. Happy Halloween. Anytime, me hearties. Captain Fevisor replied again. Have a happy Halloween, Lily added, as Violet along with Tony, Jack-Jack, and Dash headed home. As Jack-Jack was getting fussy, they hit a few more houses on their way back, just for a few more pieces of candy. When they finally reached the house of the Incredibles, Tony's mom was talking to Helen at the front door. It was 9 p.m. sometime around, around after then when they reached home. Violet, along with Dash and Jack-Jack, headed inside towards the house, where Tony thanked Violet for hanging out with him on Halloween night. Violet also thanked him for the fun they had on Halloween. It wasn't long before Tony's mother decided it was time for Tony to head home. But before Tony left with his mom, he gave Violet a hug and a kiss before heading towards his mother's car. As soon as they were out of the driveway, Helen took Jack-Jack out of his costume and went upstairs to put him to bed. While she was doing that, Dash and Violet got changed out of their Halloween costumes to wear their pajamas for the night. They opened their pillowcases and took out some candy to eat. While checking the candy to make sure it was safe to eat, Helen put Jack-Jack to bed as Violet and Dash were eating some of the candy from their trick-or-treating tonight. But as they were taking some of the candy, they always had to check to make sure it was safe to eat. Bob looked at their pillowcases and was surprised by how full they were with lots of candy. Those pillowcases are filled to the brim with candy. You must have hit a lot of houses tonight, Bob commented. We sure did, and the Wiggles gave us candy apples, Dash said. That was nice of them. Did you two along with Jack-Jack and Tony have fun? Bob asked. We did. Jack-Jack was getting a bit fuzzy, fussy, so... We had to head home after trick-or-treating thing with uh, Captain Fevisort's place, Violet answered, having a bit bite of her candy apple. One day, as Jack-Jack gets a little bit older, he'll want to be out longer for her candy. Maybe next year I could take Dash and Jack-Jack. Violet and Tony can come along too if they want, Bob suggested. Jack-Jack is now in bed and I see the kids are eating their candy apples, Helen said, seeing that Violet and Dash were in their pajamas. You check the candy before you eat it, right, kids? Of course, Mom, Violet replied, being honest with herself. This candy we got will last us for a while, Dash stated. Just don't eat all the candy at once. And since you avoided the Barney Bunch universe to trick or treat at, that's good, Helen replied, hand heading over to get a chocolate bar from her bowl of candy that she still had leftovers. The rest of the night went peacefully, with Violet and Dash heading to bed after they had finished their pieces of candy, along with their candy apples. They were sound asleep by 10.30, and Helen and Bob had some candy for themselves. Knowing that Halloween this year was very peaceful for the rest of the night, they hoped that Bob would take them out again next year.